right, I'm here with Linton Purcell. Long time, Linton. Yeah, has Long been. Long time, how you been? been? Yeah, I've been keeping well. I've been over in the States, yeah. just doing my thing, you know. Yeah. I had my fight in February against Emmanuel Newton, mm. and, you know, I'm just back on the, back on the winning streak and, you know, going to um, make a statement come July 16th. I said in the press conference, obviously that big shiny belt in front of Liam, I know you want your hands on that. How long before that happens? Obviously, you've mentioned in the, in the press conference it's going to take a couple of fights, but how long before, you know, do you reckon that will happen this year? We'd like to see it. I'd, I'd like it to happen, you know, in, in July, but that's, that's, what's, no, sorry, that's what's happening. So I'd like to say another two fights, you know, he's, he's obviously got to defend his belt. I think he'll fight either Mo or Davis. And then I've got this fight in July. And then I, I probably think I'll probably have another fight after that. And then say early, early 2017. That's, that's when I'm probably thinking. Is that because that's when you'll be ready or that's when contractually it all makes sense? I think that's by the time I've had my two fights and he's had, you know, his fight as well. Um, if I could, I'd have, I say, I'd have it in July. I'm, I'm ready now, you know. Because, I mean, it's, it's, it makes sense. I mean, they're talking him up as a New York boy. Obviously, New York had just got, yeah. you know, re removed all the restrictions for MMA yeah. um, shows now. So that makes sense. Everybody wants to go there and establish themselves. I understand that. But from... You know, a UK perspective, we want that fight here. Yeah. You know, I don't think you or Liam get the profile you deserve. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? No, I agree with you. I agree with you too. Everyone wants to, you know, wants that fight. People are asking me, are you fighting for the title? When are you fighting? And I just say, you know, obviously the same thing. I think I'm fighting him. I didn't, I didn't actually know. I wanted that fight. Um, back, in, back in February, when I'd won my fight, I said, you know, I, I want to fight for the title. I want to see, you know, um, let's see who the real king of England is. That's, that's what I actually said. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. Um, and Liam just said a little while ago, he's not fit to fight. So I think he's just come off an injury. So, you know, if it does happen, I'd like it to happen this year. But as I said, I think it will happen next year. Obviously, I've got to keep winning. And obviously, if he keeps winning, then it will happen. Emmanuel, kicked you in your nuts three times. Weren't on, was it? What was all that about? I mean, is he that desperate to beat you? Well, you know, I say I was winning the fight. And um, yeah, one low blow, two, you know, you sort of get away and the third one is like, what the, what the fuck's going on? And, um, you know, it did, it did look tired, but I don't think he did it by purpose, but, you know, who, who knows? Who knows? Man? What did you learn about yourself from that fight? Just got to suck it up, you know. In that third round, after that thir third low blow, I did actually think, you know, I'm, I'm good to go. I can actually pull out the fight and win by the DQ. I actually felt sick to my stomach and it got to that point where I thought, is, 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 is this worth it? But I thought, grip my teeth, you know, bite down my gum shield and just grind. And obviously I got the win, man. After the last fight with, with Emmanuel, um, obviously, you know, you've gone away, done some bits in the gym. What was that like, becoming a better fighter? Because obviously everybody says wins and lessons, no one says losses. I mean, what did you learn about yourself from then till now? As you say, it's definitely a lesson I learned when I, when I fought, fought in the first time. And that's what made me, you know, pick myself up and go and go to America. And um, I, was, I knew I was going to fight him at some point. And all I was doing was drilling, drilling, drilling that ground. Because, you know, when, when we fought last time, it was back and forth. And, um, you know, I just I kept drilling and get, getting my, my groundwork on point. And even, even my striking as well. And I felt I was just that much better than him on the night. And um, I had everything um, to answer for him. You know, he, he had his few takedowns but I had the reversals to get up and I, I thought my striking was on point and in that first round I took him down and I kept him down you know and I think that's what made me feel uncomfortable and that's where my biggest strength has definitely come from it's, it's from, from the groundwork. London O2 for your next one massive venue massive occasion obviously Bellator emulating what UFC have done uh, especially a week or so after UFC has said they're going to come back over a few more times how massive an occasion is it for you, though? Obviously, uh, we've seen you fight at a Troxy, mate. You've slowly worked your way up. <laughs> Nazi O2, talk to yeah. us. Funny you say that. Um, Troxy, I thought, oh, I've made it. <laughs> Seriously, I thought, I've made it. You know, this is a big, big event. I I've made it. And then when I actually got the call from Bellator, that was when I knew I'd hit the big time. Um, but, you know, the, the O2 is a big arena, and this is going to be the biggest that I've ever fought in. And, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to coming home, and fighting in front of my hometown, you know, my friends, family, my fans, everyone um, to come and support me. They're always asking when, when's it going to happen. It's finally happening. Big occasion. Last question then, who's the best light heavyweight in the UK? LDV, The Swarm. No question. That's it, that's it, that's me.
<laughs> Thanks for your time, Me, bro. me, me. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. That's, That's all, all right. Right. Yeah, man. All good.